Hi and welcome to GFACT. Today I'm going to show you how to get the duplicates from a list. For example, I have a table which is called users. Uh, I have two columns, ID and name. As you can see in this uh, table, I have a lot of duplicates. For example, John appears multiple times, Mary, Olivia, and um, yeah, I think that's it. So basically what we want to do is to get how many duplicates do we have in a table. So if you want to get that, I need to create a new measurement. Okay, and let's call this a number of duplicates. And then uh, if I want to get how many duplicates do I have, I need to use a function which is called summarize. Okay, and as you can see, the summarize needs um, a table as a first uh, input parameter so I will say users then it says the group by column so I want to group everything by the name and then I can provide another column or I can create an expression so you can see the the summarize function as the group by in SQL and what I'm saying here is I provide the table, then I have the, the column which I want to group by, and then I need to provide the expression. In our situation, I will say account. But if I'm providing an expression, I need to provide a name for that column. So let's say for uh, my column, this will be uh, total. Okay and then I will provide the expression. So I'm interested in the count of names. Okay, if I'm pressing enter now, I will have an error. And let me show you what this summarize function does. If I'm going to tables and I want to create a new table and I'm pasting this here, and if I will press enter, you will see that I have my table and the total. So basically, uh, um, with the summarize, I can create another table. In my situation, I provided the username and everything was grouped by this column. And then I provided the total and the expression. So if I want to have, uh, for example, another column in here, what I can do is say, for example, distinct yeah, and then I need to provide the expression so this can be can be a count distinct it's distinct count of name and then press OK and I have another column as you can see it is one because for every grouping it's it is only one value so i have one in here but you get the point so now i need to count how many are above one which means i have duplicates in my situation it's olivia mary and john so my final number should be three and now i need to filter the results i'm interested in those uh values which have um, the the count above one so I can achieve that with a filter function and as you can see the filter expects a table so this will be my table and then I need to provide an expression so now the total is available in here yeah because this is as a table yeah visual table and now I can say where total is greater than one so now with this i filtered out the results and if i'm copy pasting this one here so you can see what is happening this will still give me an error but that's not a problem right now if i'm pasting this here as you can see it filtered out my results so now i have a table with only the duplicates and now what I need to do is just count this which in my situation is three okay to achieve that you will say okay I can just use a count but as you can see the count expects a column 
so I have a table here a virtual table so how I can do that is very easily I can say count X and count X expects a table and an expression so now I can provide the table which will be this filter yeah this table from right here and then I will say count X of and I can provide again the whatever column I want so I can provide the total for that um, okay and I can say the total and I can press OK and it should work okay so let's see the result I'm dragging this here let's provide the simple view I have three duplicates if I want to get for example um, the names which appear exactly two times I can say equals to two and I have two yeah uh, Olivia and Mary in conclusion uh, what we did here is uh, we created the table uh, and that table was exactly like a group by in SQL we said group by name and count all the users and then this expression with the filter you can see it as a having having total equal to two or greater than one it will provide us with the expected result and then we just have to count that result i hope you found the, this video very helpful if you have a different approach to this let me know in the comment section thanks for watching see you next time